Speaking of integrations, there's a distinct advantage to having built-in features. That's why I'm excited to introduce our new engagement package, featuring built-in new interactive quizzes, questions, and contact forms. Inspired by the idea that the best learning happens through active involvement, we've spent countless hours developing a solution that makes learning engaging and effective for you, your team, new hires, partners, or clients. These functionalities are versatile and can substantially enhance your training, sales, and marketing materials in FlipSnack. Our new engagement package interactive elements, quiz, contact form, and questions, along with our trusted interactions like videos, slideshows, and GIFs, work together to transform your training flipbooks into immersing learning experiences. They also help you gather valuable insights and make communication truly two-way. Plus, you can easily track progress and securely share content within your company or behind your SSO wall. Let's dive in and see how these interactive elements can really elevate your training and marketing materials. Let's start by looking at the completed training catalog created by Brightpad Solutions, which is a fictional company uh, for demo purposes. Um, at the end of the first chapter, uh, we've added all three engagement elements on the same page, creating a comprehensive interaction point for users. You can see them right here. First, we have the question element asking what is the most important takeaway from this chapter. This prompts readers to reflect on what they've learned, making the content more memorable and engaging. So I'll add my email address, agree to the privacy policy, and to receive marketing materials, and I really enjoy it. Uh, your values. Submit. And that's it. Right below the question, we've added an interactive quiz with five questions designed to test the reader's understanding of the chapter. This quiz reinforces key concepts, providing immediate feedback and making the learning process more dynamic. So I'll add my email address, agree to the privacy policy, to the marketing materials, and choose my answers. Let's do that and then hit submit and then I can view my results. Let's see how I did. Not very good. Lastly, we've included a contact form which allows readers to provide feedback facilitating two-way communication. So I can add my name, email address, department and uh, my feedback. I really enjoyed this chapter and hit submit and that's it all these elements work together to create an interactive and engaging experience turning a static catalog into a dynamic learning tool now let's jump into the design studio to see how you can easily edit and customize these elements to fit your needs by selecting the question we access its settings uh, you can add a tooltip you can customize the button or the thank you message which appears after submissions. You can choose to collect uh, email addresses and also add your privacy policy or a GDPR compliance check. If you don't want to do that, you can uh, disable those and hit save changes. These settings allow you to create a customized and compliant experience, enhancing the interactivity of your catalog. Now let's take a look at the quiz settings. So I already have my questions here with the, with the answers and I chose the correct answer for each, for each question. And then as far as settings go, uh, you can show or not show the correct answers. Uh, you have a custom tooltip, you get to customize the quiz name for easier location in statistics. Uh, you can customize the quiz button and also the thank you message that comes after submission. Again, you, you can choose to collect or not collect uh, email addresses. These customization options allow you to tailor the quiz to your content, providing an engaging and feedback-rich learning experience. Finally, let's edit the contact form. You can add a form title and description, and then you can customize all the information that you're asking of your readers. In my case, I have their name, email address, department, and their feedback. Now, these options can be mandatory or not. 
As far as settings go, uh, you can add your tooltip, uh, a custom button, the same thank you message, and privacy policy and GDPR compliance check. After setting up and customizing your engagement elements, it's time to see how they perform. So let's jump into statistics. Here, you can view summary data for a broad overview and individual responses for more detailed insights, helping you understand areas that might need reinforcement. So let's see the statistics for the quiz. And you can see here all your quizzes from the same flipbook. Uh, and then you have a summary and you also have a more detailed way of looking at the statistics. So for the summary, you have your opens, your submits, your completion rate and your average time to complete. Under that, you have each entry and you can see their email address and uh, how many correct answers they all had. If you're looking for detailed statistics, you go to the respondents tab and you can see here I have 76 responses and you have each individual email address right here that you can choose from and you can see how they uh, answered on each question and you can see who did good and who did less good. Now let's jump into the question statistics. So click on question and then you have all your questions right here. I'll choose the first one and all your entries and if you want more details click on the email address and you'll see all the information that they completed for their questions. Lastly, let's go to the contact form. You have all your forms right here and the page that they are on and all your entries for each form and just click on it for more information on what the reader completed. With these customizable engagement elements, BrightPad Solutions can transform standard training materials into interactive and insightful experiences that foster engagement and learning. This isn't about adding features, it's about creating a more connected and effective communication tool.